Well, hello everyone. We are going to take a look at OV. OV is an open source model that generates videos with native audio. Something like Vue 3 or Sora. OV is built on top of 12.2 style 5 billion model with a separate 5 billion audio branch plus a 1 billion fusion model. Now, 12.25 billion model, which is now 12.25 billion model on which OV is built on top of supports both image to video and text to video. So naturally OV does too. Let's look at some examples before we install it on our own system. It's time to revenge. Send the boys. They are launching GPT-9. The war between AI and human. Now, the thing I noticed in OV is sometimes the quality is not good, but other times when if I scroll it over here, the quality seems to be better than other videos. Now it's built on one 2.25 billion and the time I tested the 5 billion model, I wasn't impressed. So I really want to see what the what is the output what is the output quality of OV should fight machines rise humans will fall although the lip syncing seems really good far better than infinite talk or multi talk in some aspects oh we learn to rule not machines are rising all you ever need <laughs> ai is taking over the machines are rising all you ever need yeah, yeah, it's a good prompt. Have you heard about Ovi? Yeah, they say we are all created by that. <laughs> Girl was on the phone crying. Okay, so uh, one thing I noticed is even when the face is not visible, the mouth moves. So it does know which character it's talking and uh, how the mouth should look like from behind. I don't think Infinite Talk can do that or any other voice model. Also, uh, the only limitations you can see of OV is over here. The length of the video doesn't exceed 5 seconds, right? So OV is capped at 5 seconds. That's a limitation of this model currently. What we are going to use to test OV is we are going to install the KeyJazz. KeyJazz uh, one video wrapper node and KeyJazz has also uploaded OV models on his uh, hugging face. I will link everything in the description. Now what I recommend you guys to do is install a fresh version of Comfy UI because uh, this OV wrapper from KeyJazz is not in the main wrapper right it's a it's a different branch it's not stable right now i would highly recommend you guys to go ahead and install a separate version of comfy ui i'm going to install a version by travis it has most of the custom nodes already in build so we don't have to go ahead and install all the things one by one Okay, so the way you install the custom branch of uh, one video wrapper from Kijai is you go into the custom notes folder and then you do this, then you uh, run this command. You do git clone, then you specify it's a branch and then you give it the name of the branch. So ov and then you paste the link of the branch right now this is the link of uh, the whole repo you just paste this, this link the command should look something like this i will paste the exact command in the description once you have done this just go ahead and start comfy ui or uh, the other thing you have to do is once you have done this you have to go back at the root folder of your installation. You have to go into the Python embeddings if you're using a portable version of Comfy UI. You have to go into the Python embeddings. You have to uh, run the, you have to install the requirements of this node, right? So you do Python 
and then you go pip install slash r so specify it's a requirement file then we go back to comfy ui custom nodes then we go comfy ui warn video wrapper right this here and then we write the name of the requirement file and then we hit enter and it will install all the requirements for the custom node right once you have done this uh, run your comfy ui and i have the link for the workflow from ov you can also find the workflow in this folder in the custom branch the workflow is over here it's a testing workflow it's still in testing don't expect it to work 100 percent of the time but we are going to go over and we are going to test it so if you're using this version of uh, comfy ui right if you're on linux you can just run this command or if you are on windows you can double click on this the file named run nvidia gpu dot bat file right so just run your comfy ui so once your comfy ui is installed drag and drop the workflow file on top of it and now we have to go ahead and download the model files right there is a audio model and there is a video model let's see uh, i don't think there is a guide on where you should put these models but so i'm assuming you should put them in the diffusion models folder let's just put them and if that doesn't work we'll just shift them around until we see them in comfy ui okay so if you're on cloud or if you're on linux you don't have to actually go and download the models you can just go ahead and I will give all the instructions on where to download the models and where, uh, where to place them in the description. Okay, so every model is set. Let's just run the default. So we have uploaded an image generated by Google Studio and we are going to uh, edit a prompt edit the prompt we have also edited the prompt a bit to change the old man to a girl let's see if this works okay first of all we don't think we have a lightning loader for this and that's a huge bummer because i have to wait for 50 steps to complete and those 50 steps are going to last a long time we got we got our little dinosaur to keep us company. Uh, say hello. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recording and I'm gonna come back to you once it's done. So I was worried it will take around one hour or so to generate the video because of the 50 steps. But yeah, it took around 10 minutes to completely process the 50 steps. It's fine. And then everything else is supposed to be working make sure to clone the branch of ov instead of the main repo unless and until the the ov is merged into the main repo and let's see the first output of ov oh great they are making me talk now too okay uh, can't hear it give me a second oh great they are making me talk now too Oh great, they are making me talk now too. Okay, the audio sounds good, oh, great, although I can't hear what too. she's saying quite well. The lip syncing and oh, the great, realism they are is me talk now too. okay. It uh, great, did retain the too. bigger text. Now it too. does mess up the smaller text. So for a five billion model, it's nice, but you have to wait around ten minutes. Um, that is due to we don't have a lightning lora for 5 billion model the time would have cut in half if we had a 5 billion lightning lora let's uh, edit the prompt to be something nicer okay let's see how this output is so this is how our vi looks and sounds like Ethan, you hey so yeah. this is how our as expected the uh, Audio got cut off due to the 5 seconds limitation. Looks and sounds like 
is in. That's how OOI looks and sounds like. You then yeah. Hey, so this is how OOI looks and sounds like. You then you. Um, I won't say it is better than Infinite Talk. If we are getting close up, then Infinite Talk does a good lip sync. Then, or yeah, I, it's hard for me to decide. Uh, what do you guys think? Because I'm, I I can't make a decision right now. Infinite Talk is superior than this because it can generate infinite length videos, and this is an OV generates. Ovi's limitation of 5 seconds is a big drawback. Let's go over, uh, let's quickly summarize what we did, right? So, uh, once you are in your comfy UI, go to your custom nodes folder, right? In the custom nodes, you just have to clone the repo uh, with git clone specify the branch and I will give this command in the description specify the branch OV and then paste the link of the repo from KGI when you hit enter and then install the requirements file for this if you are on a portable version of comfy UI just go to the root folder go to Python embeddings type python slash m pip install slash r for uh, slash r to specify its requirement file then go into the comfy ui folder go into custom notes go into the worn video wrapper and then give the requirements file and then hit enter it will install the requirements then in your uh, models folder download the audio and video model in the diffusion model folder download this models in the VAE folder I would recommend you to go with the BF16 for both uh, download this and this one into the VAE folder in the workflow and make sure to download the uh, one 2.2 VAE plus the text encoder for files and everything should be ready to go just select the appropriate models upload an image uh, give the image height and width and write the prompt and then run the workflow right everything uh, with the KGI's workflow and uh, the links to the models and the folders you are supposed to put the models in is in the article I will link below I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys create a lot of amazing things with this thank you so much for watching see you in the next video